Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1264. If you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1264 to 1265 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have a little payroll problem. We have a start and end date. Now, we need to figure out the total work days. And we're given a weekly salary pay of $1,000. Now, for the formula we're going to do, we're actually going to use the net work days international function. We need to know what the weekend is. And Sunday, Monday is going to be our weekend. And we need to know the holidays. Now, to calculate total work days, we get to use this amazing function, networkingdays.international. Now, net work days is an older function. We used to have to add the analysis tool pack in to get it. But since 2010, we've had this amazing function. And it's an improvement, the dot international over that earlier version, because we have the weekend argument. Now, we need to give it a start date, comma, end date comma, the weekend, and look at this drop down. Consecutive days, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way down to some single days. We're going to go ahead and select Sunday, Monday. That just puts a 2 into that argument, comma, and then our holidays. I'm going to highlight that range right there, close parentheses, control enter, and boom, 26 work days between a start and end date. Now, we're given a weekly salary pay. And so we need to convert this to weeks. I'm simply going to say, hey, total number of days divided by our 5. And boom, we get 5.2. Now we can multiply 5.2 times our 1,000 and get the gross pay. Now, I'm going to use the round function because oftentimes we may get some crazy decimals, and we want to round to the penny because we're dealing with pennies here. So I'm going to use the round, and I'm going to say, hey, there's the weekly pay times number of weeks, comma. That number of digits, we put a 2 because we're rounding to the penny. If you're rounding to the dollar, you'd put a 0. But we're rounding to the penny. So 2 close parentheses, Control-Enter. And there is our 5,200 gross pay. Now, we don't have to do it that way. We actually could calculate our daily pay. We simply take, hey, there's our 1,000 divided by five days in our week, and boom, we have 200 bucks for our daily pay. So we could say equals round. Go get our number of days times daily pay, comma 2, close parentheses, and Enter. 5,200, exactly the same. Now, notice we used some intermediate cells here. And oftentimes, we want to use just the actual input cell. So we can do it all in one formula, equals round. And then in the number argument here, we're going to make our entire calculation. Net working days dot international. We have our start date, comma, our end date, comma, our weekend. It's going to be 2, comma, our holidays, close parentheses. Now, notice that we have net working days. That gives us that 26. So we need to divide it by our 5. And finally, multiply it by our 1,000 bucks. Now, notice we did a big calculation in that number argument, but it's perfectly all right. Come to the end, comma, and a number of digits, we're rounding to the penny. So 2, close parentheses, and Control-Enter. All right, so that's a little fun with a start and end date, a certain set of days for our weekend, some holidays, and a weekly pay. All right, actually, next video, we're going to expand on networkingdays.international and look at a bunch of cool examples. All right, we'll see you next video.